For three consecutive nights, my four-year-old woke up crying a couple hours after falling asleep. And it was as if he was still mid-sleep. He wouldn't respond to anything I asked him. I asked if he had had a bad dream, if he was hurt, and he just kept crying for several minutes until he eventually fell back asleep. And the only thing I can think of that was different for those three nights was the thick down duvet comforter I had pulled out. In the summer, I just used a plain cotton sheet, and he slept great with that. Last winter, I didn't use the down duvet. I used a polyester bedspread, this polyester bedspread, which although it's polyester, you can see it has lots of holes in it to allow for excess heat to escape. And that was something I never thought of before, the thermodynamics of blanket choices. But in retrospect, it is something that makes a lot of sense to me now. So for three nights in a row, my son had these night terrors and the only thing that was different was the duvet. So on the fourth night, I decided to stop using it. And I went back to the light cotton sheet he used over the summer. But instead of two layers, I did four because it was getting a little cooler. I just took a flat king size bed sheet and folded it twice. And lo and behold, he slept through the whole night and didn't wake up once. After several weeks, I can say there's a definite correlation there. I was beginning to wonder whether some of the games on his iPad were too violent or upsetting for him. But no, thankfully, I think it was simply a matter of him overheating and unlike me who can kick the blanket off my feet, um, my four-year-old didn't even know he was uncomfortable, but he would wake up in a sweat and he didn't do that under the cotton sheet. And I wasn't even aware I was uncomfortable too under the duvet until I saw my stats on the Aura Ring. The Aura Ring is like a Fitbit that you wear on your finger. It tracks your heart rate variability, your body temperature, your deep sleep, etc. And I was shocked by how much my sleep score went down when I was sleeping under the down duvet. My body temperature was dramatically elevated and my deep sleep was cut by like half. I know the measurements on these things aren't perfect, but it wasn't a slight change. It was an unusual difference in the amount of deep sleep I was getting. My REM sleep, um, usually, it's not that high, so it wasn't too affected. I'm the opposite of other people. I get more deep sleep than REM for some reason. My percentage of deep sleep is 20 to 30%, and my REM is usually 15, 16, 17. Rarely do I get up to 20% with REM. And I read most people get 20 to 25% of REM on average. I don't know why that is. I think it's a very precise temperature you have to be at to have optimal sleep because if I'm too cold or especially if my feet are too cold, then I can't even fall asleep. And if I'm too hot, I can't stay asleep. Last winter, I found I had to wear socks to fall asleep, but partway through the night, I would wake up because it felt too stifling. When the blanket had warmed up sufficiently, then the socks were too much and I had to take them off. We release excess heat through our extremities, and when you have socks on, the excess heat is trapped, so you overheat. Down comforters do the same thing, but if you sleep with your legs and arms out of the comforter, then I suppose it's fine, but little kids don't know to do that. And polyester too traps heat, doesn't let air flow. Even worse, it doesn't wick away moisture. I see all these polyester bedding in the stores and I just don't understand it. It's the least comfortable choice of fabric for sleep. You will never stay at a comfortable temperature under a polyester sheet. I know if you're overly tired, you can fall asleep anywhere, in trains, planes, anywhere. But I'm talking about improving the quality and quantity of your normal sleep routine, not waiting for sheer exhaustion to knock you out. You will get your deep sleep if you deprive yourself of deep sleep for long enough. So 100% cotton is the only option for bedding if you ask me. Even if there's just 5 or 10% polyester, it's no good. Keep the polyester only on the decorative pillows. That's where it belongs. 
If you have little kids or little babies who don't sleep well, please look into what their blankets are made out of. If you put socks on them at night, try one night without the socks. No socks, no cute little hats, and see if that makes a difference for just one night. Try it out. I noticed immediately when I took the blanket, the duvet blanket off of my son, he stopped having night terrors and he hasn't had any issues since. I assume you're all sleeping indoors, so you don't have to worry about the temperature dropping beyond your control like it might in the wilderness. The temperature will not drop to a lethal level in your house, so do not worry about your child being cold. In fact, having your core body temperature drop a little is good for deep sleep. So I would worry about the other end of the spectrum more, overheating, which might just show up as night terrors like it did for my little one. So the trick is to get your feet to a nice and toasty temperature in order to fall asleep. But once you are asleep, then ideally you want the ambient temperature to drop at that point in order to stay asleep and extend that deep sleep as much as possible because we get our most of our deep sleep at the beginning of the night. So here's two possible ways you can tackle this. One way is you can use a good old fashioned hot water bottle, keep it at the foot of the bed and let that heat dissipate by itself. Or you can try something like a heating pad or a space heater, which is what I use with a timer. And this is perfect for me because I set it to one hour and by the time I'm in my first cycle of deep sleep, this thing shuts off and that allows my core body temperature to lower, which keeps me in that deep sleep state for longer. So those are my tips. Try a lighter cotton blanket to improve sleep for both you and your child. And good luck.